DC withstand voltage test of high voltage cable, the wiring methods of ground wire, and intermediate frequency output wire are the same, there is only one difference in wiring, that is we need to connect current, limiting resistor to the high voltage head of cylinder, this is the current limiting resistor, the red lead is directly connected to the core of the high voltage cable, if you do withstand voltage test to phase A, then clip the red lead to phase A, HV cable have core and outer shielding layer, the outer shield of the high voltage cable, and the other two phases, B and C, all connect to ground together, B and C cores and shielding layers are all connected to the ground. If we test phase A, the other end of phase A hang in the air. Everything else on the other side, including shielding layer, phase B and C all connect to ground. Turn on the power switch. Press start. Clockwise turning. To boost voltage. Rise. Adjust to the voltage needed. For example we do a test for 30 seconds, the leakage current need to be not more than a standard value, then the cable is qualified, it is mainly used to do withstand voltage test, the less leakage current it has, the less current it leaks, the better quality the cable have. As long as it can withstand the voltage, it will pass the test basically, it's time, the experiment was done. Return back to zero. Press stop. Same thing with discharges. Use resistance discharge at first. Click and it will discharge by itself. And when resistance discharge is done, then use straight discharge and plug the wire in here. Now can remove the connection of wires. Thank you for watching the tutorial video prepared by HV High Port Tester.